It's a book review, a book review, a book review, a book review. I finished a book, um, which is amazing uh, to do that because um, I think in our world, uh, in this generation perhaps, but certainly the ones to follow, um, the act of reading it's not always easy. Um, and we all know why, so I won't talk about that. But what we will talk about is why I think you <clears throat> could read this book. I don't say should because should's a dirty word, but could. So the book is called The Heart of the Revolution. Boom. See the cover? Boom. The Buddha's Radical Teachings on Forgiveness, Compassion, and Kindness by Noah Levine, author of Dharma Punks. So when I read books, <clears throat> I tend to read them like textbooks. Um, so I write, in the, I, write in the, I write in the columns. I'm one of those people. Um, hashtag no shame. But, you know, and there's a, really a lot sort of packed into this piece of um, Dharma uh, education. Um, so I think I'll highlight a few things that are maybe most poignant to me. One, um, there's this whole chapter in here about um, how the hurt, hurt, hurt people hurt people is the name of the chapter. And, you know, I think that's a really poignant um, statement because it's excruciatingly true. And I think that, you know, as somebody who was um, recently hurt, um, and I think many of us have been hurt <laughs> before, um, also having to be in a position of having to help somebody while you're hurt can be very challenging um, because maybe you're not as patient or maybe you feel like your priorities or concerns don't match up with theirs and so you say things or do things that maybe you wouldn't have done or you wouldn't do if you weren't um, still coming from an injured place. Um, and you know, I think that this book talks a lot about, definitely talks a lot about for, for give, about forgiveness, which is something that I'm trying to understand <clears throat> particularly considering um, <laughs> there's some people in my life that it's going to be very hard to forgive. Um, but I think that's the case for all of us. Um, however, what's interesting about this is the idea that, <clears throat> you know, that forgiveness is not a permanent place. Um, and forgiveness happens when you separate the actor from the action, as is highlighted in this text, um, and learn to kind of to set healthy boundaries. Um, and, to all, and, and to also open up your heart. Um, there's a line here that says, the closed heart lets no one in or out. Um, <laughs> confused human beings trying their best and failing miserably, as that sound like most of us. Um, <clears throat> and that forgiveness is this counterintuitive process. Um, forgiveness is the quiet, deliberate process of freeing ourselves from internal suffering and helping to free others of theirs. Um, so it's like there's this thing, you know, thing about forgiveness, I think, where it's as much as that you make it about another person, it's really just about you um, because you can't change the heart and minds of many. Uh, but you can change your attitudes, your actions, and your behaviors. Um, so that, that is one chapter, I think, of this book that really stands out. <clears throat> of course, Killing Them with Kindness um, is also something that I'm a big fan of. They have a whole chapter in that. And I think the other, and maybe the last bit of um, usefulness that I'll leave with you from this book is uh, what, 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 there's so many <laughs> I can't, I should write a whole response to this whole thing um, what else? we tend to get stuck 
oh, here we go, we tend to get stuck in the way we want things to be rather than rest in the acceptance of the way things are. <sighs> Non-attachment. Yeah. That's a big one. So I encourage you um, to find this book. I'll tell you that um, whenever I find... What's the thought? What, uh, is that find my something in trouble. Oh God, I can't sing, first of all, and I can't remember lyrics. Secondly, uh, anyway, so finding yourself in a place of trouble. Um, I do find often that texts related to Buddhism um, tend to help me out of the situation. I won't give you a background, but I will say that there have been past experiences where um, the right book from the right source has helped me to move forward. Forward moment, movement, bah!